against Bazinga this shallow, just under 10 big lines. I definitely think this is a trap. I think he's limping. Yeah, I'd probably just check the queen six here. I think he's trapping a lot. If we don't think he's trapping, we should be jamming because queen six suited plays so well. All in this shallow. Um, now we're going to be in a tough spot here. Nine seven offsuit isn't easy. Did he limp there? Let me just check. Oh, we limped. I thought the blinds were 100, 200. Yeah, we should be jamming nine seven offsuit up to 10 big blinds. Limping this shallow just is just so awkward. He can jam over our limps. Um, he can check raise, jam flops, and we're just betting 20% of his stack as a C bet. It's just so much easier to jam and it's unexploitable that we should be doing it every time. And then back to the Bazinga hand, I definitely think he's limping. He'll be jamming really wide this sh um, shallow, eight big blinds to 10 big blinds deep. Um, and I don't think he'll be limping anything other than monsters. Yeah, he definitely has a strong hand here. I mean, Tobias, I think, suspected as such when he checked back pre-flop. But you can't fold a six to a single bet in a limp pot. It was very suspicious though, especially with that turn bet. Looks nodded. I'm not sure if Tobias, what he's thinking here with Queen Jack, limping, whether he's doing it. It must, he must be doing it to trap here. I'll have to ask him specifically about this hand. And if anyone has questions, I'll post comments. But Queen Jack plays so well as shallow all in against Bazinga's calling and jamming ranges that it definitely has to be a trap here. Um, I still prefer to shoving. I think it's far, far better. So now we've basically flopped the nuts here with Queen Jack High. Bazinga can never have an ace. He has hardly any kings at all. Yeah, and he suspects a trap himself and just falls. And I mean, Bazinga can't really check raise bluff there. We, we, um, he's not wrecking anything by check raise bluffing and he knows we know that. Now here with kings, I think the best play is to jam. To maximize our value. I just think Bazinga isn't going to be raised folding this shallow almost ever. All his weakest, junkiest hands that he can get in pre this shallow, he's jamming. Everything else he's raised calling. He'll be raised calling as light as King 8, King 9, uh, Jack 10 suited even because they have too much equity against our jamming range. So I think we just should jam here to make sure that we get all the chips in because if he if we flatten he decides not to see bet or see bets folds we just miss a ton of value we do flat which we'll just play as now this is a pretty good board for us because we can't represent the ace yep and I mean when we check raise 60% of our stack it's almost impossible to be thinking that we're folding. But still, and we've got blockers against his straight draw. So he's definitely raised calling that hand pre-flop. And we can get into spots where he see that gives up on like a low board that might hit our flooding range, etc. So it's just far better to jam the kings there. 